Hi, you in here at protopic.co.uk and we'd like to show you the Programmatron, our new standalone AVR programmer that uses a standard off-the-shelf SD card to store and recall up to six hex and fuse files. We also have a standard ZIF socket here, 28 pin, and an ICSP header for programming in circuit. We do have a copy and a paste function, so if you found an old chip from a project and you no longer have the code, you can simply pop in your chip, press copy, remove, and then place in your new target and press paste. And it will copy and paste as many times as you like, and it will store the copied file on the SD card for future recall. Now let's see it in action. Okay, so what we're going to do here is program 5 AT Mega 328s with the OptiBoot bootloader. So I've got it set up, got it powered up using the USB power bank, and it's programmed to number one. So if I press one, you can see the light flash and say it's working. Both flash say it's verified, and you get a steady OK. That means it's done. So we take the first chip out. I'll just pop the second one in, press one, and that's done. Third one, let's just pop it in the ZIF socket, clamp it down. Press 1, working, verified, complete. And then the next one, oh, if I get it in the, there we are. Press 1, working, again, it's verified and complete. And then the fifth one, press number 1, working, verified and complete. Okay, what we're going to do is show you the copy and paste function. So what we've got here is an 80 tiny 85 on a breadboard, and this is basically a breadboard version of our harp kit. So it's got an 80 tiny 85 of the firmware on it, which is fading this red LED up and down, kind of like a heartbeat. So if I remove the power and take this program chip out, I've got this unprogrammed chip here, so I'll just pop that into the, get it in the right, Roll, there we go, and then apply power, and you can see it's not doing anything because there's no firmware on that one. So if I take this out carefully, if I can get it out, there we go. So that's the unprogrammed one, and this is the programmed one. So now what we need to do is we pop it into the ZIF socket like that, clamp it down. Now we'll have to press reset because it's a different type of chip than the previous one. Previously it was the AT Mega 328. Oh, there we go, just add the power. So it's going through its setup and that's it, OK. So what I do is I press copy and it's flash and say that it's copying it off. And it will copy off the entire memory of the chip. And there you go, we've got a solid OK. So if I remove this chip and then take this one and pop that right in there and then press paste that's it flashing to say that it's working and that's it done so if we take this chip out place it back into our breadboard and then apply power there you go, you can see the heart well the LED is flashing like a heart so that worked perfectly Yes, you can. No, not unless you've got a torch. Yes, but you shouldn't. 